I'm the best. I knew I was the best. I came in to win this whole thing. I am who I am for a reason, and I do what I do. As I told you then, and I'm going to tell you now, you're screwed. The first impression I got from Josh Payne was very intimidating. I think that's my spot right there, baby. In this industry, a lot of people, even though there are competitions, they tend to kind of shy away from it. So when they see me come in being competitive, they're like, oh, this dude's just an asshole. It's like, no, nah, man, if there's a prize to win, I'm going to win it. My initial impression of Anthony was interesting because I don't think he wants people to be able to read him. I've had a lot of past experiences with personalities like that. Slip up one time, I don't care how good you are, pack your shit. Welcome to Ink Master. It really put me in a place to stand solid, you know, especially being that I was, I felt like I was like protecting my team because I know this competition and it's easy to get sucked into shit like that and then you don't even realize that you're no longer here to tattoo. There was now three great tattoos down. We put a piece out that is gonna be seen that I'm proud as of. He didn't listen to the challenge. He tells us all the time that we don't want to here, but we do it anyway. Cool, so be a sheep. I'm not a sheep. Flat out, point blank. There's no sheep over here. Josh calling us sheep, that's just Josh playing the game. Just being vicious, spewing his venom. He wants to hear himself talk, so he just, he needs a finger point. You let them do like almost nothing to the tattoo and you did the whole entire thing. No. Every single time, you just bully everyone into a point where you can't dig yourself out of. We're wolves. We're not going to sit here and, and bite into that. We're going to let everyone know how this is supposed to be done. Team Steve, two skull picks, two of our people have gone home, and they pretty much gave Josh tattoo of the day. They're feeding their team and our team at this point. We cannot drop the ball anymore. A new competition started today. That's the way I see it. There's no reason we cannot be standing there together in the end. Josh assumes that he already has a spot and he's just trying to figure out who the other two are. Every time you guys interact with Josh, let him know he's screwed. Good morning, you're screwed. Hey, what are you drawing? You're screwed. We're here to look out for our family and that's it. I know how to study my competition and, and even though he was a coach, I, I wanted to know what he could do to know what he could be telling people. Anthony, you look so sad. One of these days you're gonna have to line. Uh-oh. Look at this hey matchup. Hey, guys. This should be interesting. This is epic. I mean, I wore a fancy shirt today. It's going to be a bloodbath, man. I'm not representing just myself. I'm representing my team. I have a lot to lose. I took out his entire team, and there's one last wolf to kick out of the pack. At the end of the day, man, the dude is smart. You know, he, he knows what he's doing in this competition. He knows what it takes to win. What I like about this tattoo is that you were able to take an idea that was potentially pretty stiff and turn it into something artistically really interesting. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Josh. Congratulations, man. I was called a lot of things and told a lot of different stuff about the way I played the game. And you know what? I'll play it with integrity and I'll play it fair right now. I'm not that, man. I think I'm going up against the right competitor with all due respect. This is personal. This is one-on-one, -on -one, man. The game's not over. See how it plays. Honestly, may the best man win.